A customer which includes all the necessary things, for example, the app lock and the new unlimited Google photo storage tile, sorry, the option and a lot more things included in this build. Let's get started to find out some things in the Dubfest OS. Of course, we're talking about the Dubfest OS based on Android 12, the latest version which have the February security patch. I made a video yesterday about Dubfest OS, first look of this new interesting thing where I saw two most important and one of the most awaited features which were added. One is the app lock and second one is the unlimited Google photo storage as an option. Two interesting things already included and this time we're going to talk about some device specific things and in my case, I'm using Redmi Note 9 Pro. Available for all the mutual devices, Redmi Note 9S Pro, Pro Max or Poco M2 Pro. The default things which you get in the Dub Fest OS is of course this Dub Launcher pre-installed. Dub Launcher which means you have the hidden and protected apps feature which means kind of an app lock which is just working perfectly fine. I tried and I'm using Dub Fest OS on my device for maybe 24 hours almost almost and this is why I just wanted to let you know about this one. It's good enough, it's not awesome of course but it's good enough to use on a device as i didn't got any kind of major bugs so far it's not great in the terms of performance but still it's far more good to use it on your device it's just my opinion of course the quick settings panel seems to be same like other custom rooms you can see the wi-fi mobile data separate tiles are available and if you're able to see the icons from this quick settings panel are a little bit changed and you get this kind of icon pack in this dub fest OS which you can customize from settings for the more information for the more detailed video about the fest OS features and changes i made a video yesterday and you can check out that video which is available and the link is also available in the description make sure to check out Talking about the camera section, as you just saw that even I didn't enable the camera app for the even one time because the default camera is what you get is the snap camera and in my opinion I never ever use this camera. Also we have other options available for this camera app, you have other Graphene OS camera, the normal G cam etc. But this is what you get by default the normal snap camera which is of course working fine. Let me show you one thing as if you are able to see the camera is not opening it's just because of the back cover which I am using right now. I have a, this kind of back cover available so this is why it was looking like that but don't worry camera is working perfectly fine. If you want to use this camera you can it's up to you. Although if you want to use a normal open source camera app which is called a Graphene OS camera you can use that. I made a video on this Graphene OS camera app on my Hindi channel. If you haven't watched that yet make sure to check out that because this camera seems to be perfect and right now it is quite good only 3 MB in size a very good thing. Talking about the routing access or safeness status, banking app status, etc. Yes, no way that uh, routing SX, for example, you want to use Magisk on a device. The latest Magisk question is just working perfectly fine. No issues for me while using Magisk, installing Magisk. And one more thing, if you want to pass a safeness status after installing Magisk, you simply need to hide it from settings, Magisk settings. If you move on to the settings option, you have the option to enable the Magisk hide option and you're good to go. I'm not talking about the Magisk version 24 here in Magisk version. 23 it's just working perfectly fine so go and give it a try the version also the module which i'm using right now is this one and one of my favorite modules this is the module which i'm using right now on my device looks good in the Dove OS previous updates, maybe you saw, you have noticed this new interesting game space and that's available in this build too. This game space looks quite good where you can adjust the gaming mode, heads up etc, FPS info and a lot more things. The UI seems to be different even if you compare it with other game space options available around these custom rooms. This might be one of the perfect ones out there. I don't know about gaming much, I don't play games but the gaming mode is good. Last but not the least, if we talk about the features or UI things, the customizations, etc. Things are basically the same. You have the Xiaomi parts included by default if you want to use some features from the Xiaomi parts like Mi Sound Enhancer, Xiaomi Rose, FPS Info Overlay or Enable or Disable USB Fast Charge. All these options are present. In the security section, you only have the fingerprint face unlock is still not included, but app lock is included in the default launcher. 
wallpapers and style which means if you want to check out the modern theming it's there it's just working perfectly fine anyway you also got some system icon packs option for you including that customizations of course the space where let me show you one thing if you move on to the system option if you move on to the general settings unlimited google photo storage you have the option to use it and you also have the option to simply disable this option this looks quite good link is in the description this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this video don't forget to like and share this goodbye over the edge feel like i'm floating through the air